ESR test is a simple blood test that is often used in routine checkups. ESR stands for erythrocyte sedimentation rate, a term that refers to the rate at which red blood cells settle at the bottom of a test tube over a specified period. This test measures how fast red blood cells fall to the bottom of a test tube, which can indicate various health conditions. Red blood cells are a vital part of your blood, playing a crucial role in your overall health. They carry oxygen throughout your body, ensuring that your tissues and organs function properly. Inflammation in the body can cause red blood cells to clump together, which can be detected by the ESR test. The ESR test is a general marker of inflammation, helping to identify if there is an inflammatory process occurring in the body. It doesn't pinpoint a specific disease, but provides valuable information that can guide further testing. However, it can help doctors understand if something is wrong and determine the next steps in diagnosis and treatment. Doctors use the ESR test to help diagnose conditions that cause inflammation. This test is often used alongside other tests to confirm a diagnosis. Some conditions that might cause an elevated ESR include infections, autoimmune diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis and lupus, cancer, and inflammatory bowel disease. An ESR test can also help monitor how well a treatment is working. If inflammation decreases, the ESR usually goes down. Getting an ESR test is a straightforward process that helps in diagnosing various conditions. It involves a simple blood draw, which is a routine procedure in medical settings, similar to other blood tests you might have had before. Here are the basic steps involved in the process. First, a healthcare provider will clean the area on your arm where they will draw blood to ensure it's sterile. They will then tie a band, known as a tourniquet, around your upper arm to help the vein swell with blood, making it easier to draw. Next, they will gently insert a needle into the vein and collect a small amount of blood into a vial, which only takes a few moments. After collecting enough blood, they will carefully remove the needle and apply pressure to the puncture site to stop any bleeding and prevent bruising. The blood sample is then labeled and sent to a laboratory for analysis, where it will be examined to measure the erythrocyte sedimentation rate. Section 4. What is a normal ESR? The normal ESR value can vary slightly depending on factors like age and sex. Generally, a normal ESR is men 0 to 15 millimeters per hour, women 0 to 20 millimeters per hour, children 0 to 10 millimeters per hour. Your doctor will consider your overall health and medical history when interpreting your ESR results. This helps them determine if your ESR is within a healthy range. Section 5. What do abnormal ESR results mean? An abnormal ESR can be either high or low, and each indicates different things. ESR stands for erythrocyte sedimentation rate, a common blood test used to detect inflammation in the body. High ESR. A high ESR usually indicates inflammation in the body. This inflammation could be due to various conditions such as infections, autoimmune diseases, or even cancer. The higher the ESR, the greater the inflammation. It helps doctors understand the severity and progression of the underlying condition. Low ESR. A low ESR is less common and may not always be a cause for concern. It can sometimes be seen in conditions like polycythemia or congestive heart failure. It could be due to certain medical conditions or medications. For instance, some anti-inflammatory drugs can lower ESR levels. It is crucial to remember that an abnormal ESR alone does not diagnose a specific disease. It is a part of a larger diagnostic puzzle. Your doctor will use it along with other tests and your symptoms to make a diagnosis. Always consult your healthcare provider for a comprehensive evaluation. Section 6. Staying healthy and the importance of regular checkups. 
Maintaining a healthy lifestyle is crucial for overall well-being. This includes eating a balanced diet, exercising regularly, managing stress and getting enough sleep. Regular medical checkups are equally important. They allow doctors to monitor your health and detect potential issues early on. Remember, early detection is often key to successful treatment and better health outcomes. If you have concerns about your health or experience any unusual symptoms, consult your doctor promptly.